Welcome to the fifth training tutorial of the Magellan Authoring Tool. This tutorial covers the basics in creating groups of activities. In this tutorial we're going to present the definition of groups, how to create groups, and how to test groups of activities. In the first tutorial we created a new project called Treasure Hunter. Open this project now in the Magellan program. Let's start with the definition of the term groups in the context of the Magellan Authoring Tool. As mentioned in the second tutorial discussing the activities concept, an activity represents a short duration step in the game logic that requires interaction with the player. Activities can be grouped together to structure the scenario of the game, ensuring that all activities contained in a group are disabled when the group has finished running. Creating groups of activities is particularly useful when parallel storylines are active at a particular instant and the author wants to disable some of them when a certain state is reached. When conditions are placed in a group, the activation of the group will automatically trigger all the non-connected activities contained in the group. To exit a group of activities, a condition set by the author must be satisfied. All contained activities and content are stopped on group exit. By default, when creating a group, an exit condition is already placed in the group. Now let's discuss how we can create a group of activities in the Treasure Hunter game. To create a group in the Scenario Editor, the author can choose to drag and drop the purple box from the side menu or to right-click on the workspace and select Group Activities from the menu. When the group is selected in the Scenario Editor, its name and description can be edited via the Selection Editor on the left. The size of the group box can be expanded by dragging its edges. The default exit condition can also be moved to the upper right corner. Notice that the output of the exit condition is connected to the success output of the group. Now let's add some activities to the group. For example, drag and drop the select role activity from the game graph into the group. Repeat the same for the team selection condition. Notice how the connections are automatically deleted and you have to reconnect the output of the role selection activity to the team condition and then you can connect the team condition output to the input of the exit condition. Click on the exit condition in the scenario editor to see the options available to the author in the selection editor to configure it. Expand the left drop-down list and review the options available to the author. For the Treasure Hunter game, we will select All Activities and the exit condition will check if all activities will end with Success or Failure, which is selected by the right drop-down list, in our case Success. Multiple conditions can be added in the Selection Editor by clicking on the Add New Condition button. In the Scenario Editor, we can now add a puzzle activity to the group. This can be done by dragging a new activity and selecting Game and then Puzzle from the menu. In the Selection Editor, we can select the image for the jigsaw puzzle by dragging and dropping from the Asset Library and select the number of pieces for our puzzle. Now that our puzzle activity is created, we can connect its output to the input of the exit condition. This means that in order to exit the group, both the select role activity and the puzzle activity have to be concluded successfully. Notice that the inputs of all the activities we would like to automatically trigger when the group is activated should be left without connections. Now let's test the group we created and see if it's working as intended. Before we can press the Play Simulation button in the main toolbar, we need to connect the starting point to the input of the group activity and the success exit of the group to the message activity that reads All Aboard Jolly Roger. Now we can click the Play Simulation button and the player is prompted with a question in the mobile view to select the team, in our case Pirates. When the team is selected, the player is prompted with a jigsaw puzzle and unless the puzzle 
is completed, the exit condition will not be satisfied. So we drag the pieces of the puzzle in the correct order to satisfy the exit condition. The player should now be able to read the message all aboard the Jolly Roger. This ends our tutorial on how to create a group of activities, how to add activities in the group, and how to define the exit condition for the group. Also, how to test the group of activities.